puzzle so far times is figuring out why women's labor force participation rates in India have remained stubbornly low. In my research, I wanted to look at the role of gender norms and marital incentives in shaping choices around women's work. Do women who want to work after marriage face a penalty in the marriage market? Now, you may have seen shows like Indian Matchmaking where Auntie Seema, the matchmaker, makes disparaging comments, or you may have witnessed or experienced bias firsthand in the marriage market. My study aims to quantify and identify the penalty women face while trying to marry in relation to work. I aim to do this through an online experiment on a popular matrimonial website in India. So what do I do? I create typical marital profiles for women from different caste groups, which are identical in all characteristics except for work and income. I selected thousands of potential male suitors who were randomly shown one of the profiles. I find that women who want to work after marriage receive substantially less interest from male suitors than women who do not work or are willing to give up work after marriage. Marriage is near universal in India and it's one of the most important life decisions we make. So clearly the preferences of men and their families related to women's work is invariably going to influence women's choices around work. Gender norms are therefore an important determinant of gender gaps in labor and an area for labor policy to address in the future. <laughs>